come to Vietnam, you just have to try it. And street food is considered one of uh, Vietnamese fast food, and it's quick, it's cheap, and it's convenient. So right now, I'm trying to make bún chả, one of the most renowned dish on the street. <cười> So bún chả in this place is very good, but I may not love bún chả as much as my friend Hiếu over here. <coughs> she loves it. Everybody, uh, Vietnamese and foreigners love bún chả. Uh, Vietnamese bún chả is a barbecue pork uh, with noodles and broth. Uh, the smell of bún chả is really, very great and uh, smoky. Uh, the taste is really, um, really flavorful and also tender. Uh, the broth is a little bit salty, sweet and spicy. About the noodle, it is a special type of rice noodles. The combination of um, everything here this is really great. Street food is everywhere. All we need is just get out of the house and walk along the streets. Uh, then we have various things to choose. Street food are just really good. Why? Well, first of all, because of the traditional recipe, and also uh, the, the costs to run those places are very low. In addition, there's not many customers, so the cook can really pay attention to every detail, and as a result, there's good food. Name to a dry fermented pork is very popular for Vietnamese youngsters. Uh, instead, it's a little bit uh, crispy on the outside and juicy on the inside. So, there are areas that feature many, and I mean many, vendors. And those vendors offer many dishes and they often work together. Uh, in addition, uh, those, these areas are often in crowded and busy neighborhoods. There are two types of street food vendors. Firstly, people with their cars walk around the streets and find out their diners. Second, please, uh, the small shops like we are in right now. Small shops utilize under many sidewalks. For both places, while we are enjoying our food, we can also watch the people who are rushing uh, in their uh, busy life. Those quiet moments seem to be more interesting and precious.